a police cruiser that was uh, damaged with a, uh, a brick. Looking now at police chasing someone uh, across Racerstown Road. It looks like a group of several officers chasing. Uh, this is Keith Daniels' uh, video coming from, uh, you can see the, the, the guy is running away from police, a guy in a gray sweatshirt. Several officers pursuing him. He's still going. And he slips and falls on the grassy hill there. There are officers down below. Cameras are on this situation. And, and how police handle this will, uh, will Jennifer, be Jennifer, we're back here live now. Can't okay. really. Police have uh, just started chasing an individual who came out of nowhere. We turned, and there were several police officers chasing him. If you look up that way, they finally captured him. The man ran up that way, and then he just fell to the ground. Police now taking him into custody. Not clear yet exactly what he was running away from or why police were chasing him, but they have, in fact, caught up with that individual. He's down there now. They're taking him into custody. Not clear what his offense might be, but there were people standing around on their porches, standing in the crowds here, saying, run, run, run from police. But police in the end caught him, and he is now in custody. If we look back in this direction, you can still see where police are holding the line here. We see now another individual has been dropped to the ground. Two individuals now taken into custody here. Total of three that we've seen so far. The man that was running away, and we're walking towards now, another individual, two individuals who have now been handcuffed. Police have sat them on the ground, and they're circling these, these individuals. They don't want people to get close to them. There's another individual you see coming towards us in a red coat. He, too, has been taken into custody. We're walking on this side. Of course, we're not going to be in the way. You see where police have taken these individuals into custody. Not sure why. Perhaps involved in the violence that we have seen break out here towards police. Not clear why, but in fact, police have taken them into custody. They have put the wristbands on them, presumably taking them now to the transport vehicles. If you look up there on the hill, you can see where there are several transport vehicles waiting for anybody who's taken into custody here. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, four individuals here. And the fifth individual that we saw running away from police earlier, five people now taken into custody. Keith, as we look at our screen, we see the individual that you're talking about being led away on the left side. On the right side, we see a helicopter shot of a car that is fully engulfed in flames, uh, burning with a lot of black smoke going into the air. Uh, we can, you know, we don't know what happened here, but it is very close to where all of this unrest is occurring. And we have seen other things burning this afternoon, and uh, it appears now a vehicle. Uh, burning there in northwest Baltimore. And Keith, uh, we asked whether John Rydell had seen any objects being hurled. Have you seen anything being hurled in the last five to ten minutes, or has the police presence to some degree in their ability to push people back calm that down? Kai, we have... Kai, we haven't seen anybody throw anything at police officers at this hour. Pretty much, if I may use this, uh, this term, calm. It seems calm now outside of Mondawmin Mall. In fact, you can even see where some police officers are bringing in water for the officers who are standing here online. There's water for them to refresh themselves. So I didn't think we would be using this word quite so soon, but the word now is calm outside of uh, Mondawmin Mall. No one throwing anything at the officers at, as we speak. But again, the officers here are ready dressed in riot gear, and they have their shields. Back to you guys. All right, Keith, the fire that we just saw burning, that car that's on fire is at the corner of Pennsylvania and North, uh, not that far away from, from your location. There we can see uh, that fire just raging, firefighters pulling up, the fire truck there pulling right in front of that vehicle, but it is certainly uh, fully engulfed and a lot of black smoke pouring into the air. A second fire truck rolling up on the scene at Pennsylvania and North as this car burns along the side of the street there right beside the subway sandwich shop all of this happening this afternoon uh, mondaman mall seemed to be the center point for the violence that broke out after school today 
We saw a lot of younger people engaging with police officers, throwing rocks, throwing bottles, throwing bricks. And we know that seven police officers were seriously injured in these confrontations this afternoon, including one officer who at last word was unconscious, other officers with broken bones. And as I'm looking at this video now, it appears that there are two vehicles burning. You can right. see uh, the, the car in the foreground and what appears to be a van in the background. So this is, in fact, Jennifer, I saw this earlier. This is an MDTA police car That's what I thought. and an yes. MDTA van. We couldn't tell where they were initially by the earlier chopper shot. So this is the Maryland Transportation Authority Police, two vehicles. They patrol all public transit around the Baltimore area. And, and so these vehicles were on fire. Any 